What's up YouTubers, Johnny DIY here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to repair and replace a section of rotten wooden fascia board. If you guys are new to my channel, do me a favor, click the subscribe and the notification bell so you can get all my new videos. Alright, let's get to it. We'll come on up our ladder and we'll check this out. We're going to be replacing this section of the rotten fascia board. As you can tell, it's completely deteriorated. Uh, we'll just hit it with our scraper right here and we can see it's all rotted out here. Looks like someone's replaced just this tail section before. As you can see right here, we'll inspect the wood and that's the first thing we're going to do is inspect how far this rot is. So we know it's rotten here, but I'm thinking it doesn't go up too much further. hit on it we can tell this is pretty solid up here so the rot's about to right here and I'm gonna do a section that's in between this stud and this stud right here right there I went ahead and marked the stud here and the stud there mark the center right there we'll see if this wood is still good I'll go ahead and chip some of the paint off looks like the paints just delaminating still looks solid a lot of times this paint when it starts to peel like this it'll collect moisture behind it when it starts peeling off it will actually rot the wood so before that happens you want to get up here and scrape it all off reprime it and repaint it now we'll take our speed square and we're gonna go ahead and mark where we're gonna cut and do a 45 and then from our cut down to the gutter we're gonna go ahead and we'll go ahead and scrape this where the drip edge is here. We're gonna have to gently pry this drip edge up. So we're gonna have to get underneath here to cut all the nails off so we can take this fascia out. Now before we cut out the old fascia, I'm gonna go ahead and screw this piece of scrap board up here to hold it together. That way I can just use this as a template. Let's go ahead and pry this. We'll go ahead and cut this drip edge to match that 45 too. That way we can pry this all up. Okay, now with that drip edge pulled back, we can see how the fascia is attached to our roof right here. So this plywood sheathing right here has nails into the top of the fascia board. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our sawzall and we are going to run it through this groove between the fascia and the plywood sheathing right there. And we're going to cut all those nails all the way down to the gutters. Now to cut along that edge where the nails are, we're going to want to use a metal cutting blade. I already started the cut down here, so once you get it started in the groove between the two, it just kind of guides itself. Here we go, there wasn't many nails in that section at all. And then lastly, we're going to want to cut this groove where this front fascia meets the side. Now there really shouldn't be much left holding this in. Maybe a couple nails into those two by fours. See if I can't just hammer in between that sheathing. Pry this down. Looks like it's gonna come right out. Give it a wiggle like the old loose tooth. And there she goes. Just a couple of nails into that two by four. We're holding it in. Okay, now I can take my new piece of two by six. And we'll go ahead and put that old piece we just cut out. And then I can simply line it up and trace it. Then we'll get a perfect match. Then I'm going to go ahead and cut a two foot long section. And we're going to use that as a backer piece for our joint. Okay, now we're going to prime those boards. You want to use a good quality primer and you're especially going to want to get the end grain the ends of each piece where we cut it if you have the time you're going to want to do two coats we may as well give it a couple coats of our finished color while it's down It'd be a lot easier to paint it while it's down here making sure you get those end grains as well 
Okay, now before we put this piece of fascia in, we're not going to be able to get any nails through the top of the sheathing into the top of this fascia board. So what we're going to use is we're going to use some construction adhesive. I use this PL Premium 3X from Loctite. It's really strong stuff. We're going to put that all along the top and we're also going to put it on the end joints. Okay, now we're carefully going to fit it into place. And then remember that two foot piece of backer board, we're going to put that underneath on the back side. And then that'll really strengthen the joint between the two pieces. Nice sunset from up here. Now on this bottom joint, we could remove the gutter and go straight into this end grain. I'm just going to do a few toenails, two on the back and one on the front. It's going to be a little tricky because this wood is a little warped. Okay, I screwed a little scrap block underneath, so hopefully we should be able to pull it in with a clamp now. Be able to hook it onto that scrap piece, clamp it in. Looks like it's working. There we go. Okay, all that's left to do now is run a nice bead of siliconized caulk over all of our seams and we'll do it over the heads of our screws too. Then I'll go ahead and bend down that drip hitch flashing. All right guys, and that is how to repair and replace rotten wooden fascia board. If you guys are new to my channel, do me a favor, click the subscribe and the notification bell so you can get all my new videos. And give the video a like too if it helped you out. Thanks for watching Johnny DIY. Keep on doing it yourself guys. Take care.